Hey everyone, Dave Kincaid here, and today we're going to be talking about some new Mobi accessories. Um, one really, really awesome new accessory we have for the Mobi M10 is the new toolless pan knuckle. This allows us to do our overall balance completely toolessly. With the original pan knuckle for the Mobi M10, we had to um, loosen these four screws in order to adjust our pan balance. We had to have our Mobi tool with us. Um, we found teaching people how to do this, this tended to be the um, the most challenging part. So with the new Mobi M10 toolless pan knuckle, we can do all this completely toolessly. So we can just loosen these two toggle clamps here and very, very quickly and very, very easily, we can adjust our nose to tail position, you know, our relative position this way and that. And then we can also adjust our, uh, what we refer to as our pendulum, our relative angle here. And once we've, you know, we've got this, we'll just tighten these down. So it's, really, really makes the process much more streamlined, makes it faster and just easier to do balance-wise. To install the new M10 toolless pan knuckle is really pretty easy. It's just a couple of steps. You're essentially just loosening a couple of screws and redoing a zip tie. Um, really the easiest way to do this, if you know, you're taking the Mobi um, off, of the, uh, off of the stand, you know, taking the camera off of it, um, you know, Mobi is turned off obviously. You can set it down on a workbench or a table, um, kind of the same way that it was when you first took it out of the box is really the easiest way to do it. And once you've, once you've done that, first things first, what you're going to do is you're just going to snip this zip tie right here. Um, and then kind of next thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen these screws on original pan knuckle using our Mobi tool and we're just going to take this part of the, uh, the top uh, part of the pan knuckle off. The next thing that we're going to do um, is we're going to loosen these two screws on our GPS mount. We're going to be taking our GPS mount off. We're just loosening these two screws with our Mobi tool. And then kind of the uh, uh, next step is we're going to loosen these four screws down here at the base of the uh, pan motor. Um, and when we install the new pan knuckle, we want to get the carbon fiber rod right here. We want to get that all the way to the base of the uh, pan motor itself. It doesn't matter if it touches the top of the pan motor. We just want to make sure that we get contact when we lock these four screws down that we actually have really good contact on the um, pan knuckle itself on the carbon fiber rod. Also too, we're reinstalling. Again, we're, we're putting back on our, our GPS mount. So we just put, this, put these uh, um, two screws back in, tighten them down. And then we're going to redo our zip tie at the, uh, at the top of the gimbal. And we also want to be careful when we're doing this that when we um, install the new pan knuckle, we get the relative position as straight as possible going this way. So as straight as, as humanly possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. We want to get it um, as straight as we can. So just a few kind of quick steps. It's pretty easy to do. Loosening a couple of screws, redoing a zip tie. And we've got our new Movi toolless pan knuckle. So another new accessory for the Movi that is really, really cool is a uh, quick release for the bottom stage of the gimbal. It's affectionately named the Toad in the Hole. And we um, were able to quick release it um, on and off of the top bar itself and we can attach it to other things. We'll go into that a little bit more. But um, to quick release it, this is what we do is simply just gonna unlock the, um, the uh, safety catch and then we're going to press in on these two buttons right here. We're supporting the weight of the gimbal the whole time and then we can quick release it off the top bar. And now we can attach it to essentially whatever we want. So another really, really cool accessory that we have is the Movi ring. So this allows us multiple points of contact. We're able to do all the multi-operator stuff and all the handoffs and all that kind of stuff very, very easily. And what I've done is we've attached the male version of the toad in the hole to the Movi ring itself. So very, very easily we can do now is we can detach the Movi itself from the top bar, quick releasing. Now, you can pretty easily go over here, attach the Mobi ring, lock this down. And now, within just a few seconds, we have the Mobi on the Mobi ring. We can be doing handoffs, we can do all the multi operator stuff. Just really, really, really cool um, new functionality to it. So let's say we want to attach the Movi to a Steadicam arm or a jib arm or a vehicle mount or rigging, any of that kind of stuff. We can do all that stuff with an accessory called the Ninja Star. This has quarter 20 and 3 8 um, threaded screw holes on it. And anything with a quarter 20 or 3 8 screw, we essentially attach this. And what we've done in this case, we've attached the um, male version of the toad in a hole to the Ninja Star. 
So now guys, what I've done is I've attached the Ninja Star um, combination with the male version of the toad in the hole, and I've attached it to the quick release plate of the tripod head. And now very quickly what I can do with this, I can just attach my toad in the hole, lock it down, and now I have a remote head that's attached to my jib arm. And I can quick release it on and off, put it back onto the top bar or the Movi ring. So just a lot of really, really cool functionality, a lot of new dimensions that these accessories have added. So just really, really excited about all these accessories from Freefly and they've continued to step their game up and are just really going out there and, and really getting to the forefront of the technology. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.